okay so welcome back to charlie's kitchen so i had these wings that i boiled um, i seasoned them with lemon pepper seasoning um, onion powder garlic powder celery salt cilantro uh, flakes and roasted garlic and herb seasoning as well so this is the chicken i just took out of the pot it's super hot you probably could see it smoking but um i'm gonna go ahead and take this meat off of the wings and or i should say drumettes they're really drumettes so i'm gonna go ahead and take the meat off and put it into my crock pot along with my black beans and some other things so that i can make a bit of a soup i'm trying to <coughs> excuse me make a tortilla soup okay so i'm gonna make a chicken tortilla soup that's why i seasoned the meat with uh lemon pepper because i want that lemon flavor to come out in my tortilla soup okay so stay tuned so all of the chicken is off of the bone and in my crock pot and now i'm going to go ahead and add the beans so my beans are now added so it's just a matter of mixing up the chicken with the black beans and then I'm going to add water now I've added the water to my pot as you can see I have my chicken in there my beans in there and now I'm getting ready to add my diced tomatoes And I'm just trying to open up the can. Okay. So that's added. I'm probably going to have to take some of this liquid out. But other than that, we are getting this tortilla soup started. So now I have um, everything in my crock pot and I made sure to use one can of diced tomatoes. Good and Gather is the one that I used. I also used one can of black beans by Bushes. And then I used probably a cupful of the Hernandez Salsa Verde Mild in my tortilla soup so i'm just gonna let it simmer um as long as it needs to and then my next ingredient would be just to put some cilantro in there as well i did the cilantro flakes but i also am going to um chop up some fresh cilantro as well but you can see it is doing what it needs to do and i'm excited it's going to be delicious and flavorful and all of that good stuff and something to eat on this saturday um that like i said will be flavorful um filling and uh very appetizing to say the least all right you guys i'll see you in just a bit okay so my soup has been you know um cooking and getting all those flavors to go in um for probably about two and a half hours now and so i just turned it off look at that and i just added the cilantro so that's how you would want to do it in your kitchen is to add your cilantro 
Now, when I actually eat this, I like to use the lemon. Okay, so I'll use the juice of a lemon, sprinkle it on top. And then I'll also use these. And these are Southwest style tortilla chips. I'll put that with it as well. So you guys can see. And these have a bit of a lime on them as well. And then I'll probably use, you know, some cheese as well. Um, you know, but that's something that you could choose to do if you want to use the lemon. You want to use the cheese. I think all of that gives it flavor even more. So this is pretty much done. Doesn't it look good? Yum. Look at all that meat up in there. And that was six drumettes that I used. Those drumettes have quite a bit of meat on them. Look at that. So that is going to be for dinner. Um, so that's done. Um, when I used to be able to eat corn as well, I used to put corn in here. So that would be something else that you can add to your tortilla soup is, um, some corn as well, but obviously I'm allergic to it now, so I can't eat it, but that's something that you could possibly put in your tortilla soup at home. So make sure to like subscribe and share it really does help the channel to grow i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video i thank you for watching and until next time from my kitchen of yours